Well, you just saw there a tiny portion of a big NBC Action News consumer test. Can one high-tech screen keep out bugs and bad guys? Investigator Russ Matosik finds out. To see whether that screen could stand up to intruders, we tested it not only against that 2 by 4 shooting cannon, we teamed up with a crowbar-armed hockey player who tried to help us break in. Five. Aimed right at this high-tech security screen four. is a homemade cannon. Three. It's loaded with a two by four two. and propelled by pressurized air. One. It gets shot right then with about 36 miles an hour. Where'd you hit? That was a direct shot at it. Hardly an indentation. In slow motion, you can see the frame jumps, but the screen stands firm. No tear. Mathematically, the manufacturer says that cannon strike equals surviving a direct hit from hurricane winds at 140 miles per hour. But it's not hurricanes that scare resident Michelle Williams. Very scary. How many times has someone tried to break in here? Four times. The manufacturer is now marketing his screens to replace bars on windows. Hammer? <laughs> crowbar. Stick the crowbar. All right. Tapco manufacturer Don Roberts challenged me and Missouri Mavericks hockey player Carlisle Lewis. Take this and hit as hard as you can with the claw. Oh, you made a hole. At six foot three and 233 pounds, Lewis eventually just gave up with our crowbar and hammer. We'll be here all day. Lewis, a right wing, brought his own tools. But Lewis's pucks did not meet our goal. How many miles an hour do you think that was? Um, around 90. You think there's any way you're getting in there? I don't think so. We made holes. Right. But we didn't get inside the structure. You didn't get a hole big enough to put a hand through. I mean, is this the ultimate defeat here? Is just to... Oh, and that's not going quite as easily as I... See, I thought that that would just strip it down. No. Even a sledgehammer against the sharp end of our crowbar didn't rip an opening. You're making a lot of noise, too. <laughs> Speaking of sharp ends... They probably cut it on that one right there. ...making those jagged holes receptors of potential evidence from DNA. That's what it does to you. Oh. It'll cut you up. But it is designed to be breached by rescue crews. Hold it. Manually, firefighters broke through in 30 seconds. <laughs> Their rescue saw cut through in 15. All right, how do we get out? Okay. Flip the latch, <laughs> push it open, okay. and you're out. So what makes this different from a normal screen? All right, in a one inch square, you have tw uh, 12 vertical lines and 12 horizontal lines. That's 12 by 12 of tiny stainless steel cables. This uh, is, is primarily to keep people out of your home. <laughs> An entire screened home can cost several thousand dollars. For our test, the manufacturer gave Williams a free door and window, but now she's thinking about getting more. It'll definitely give me a great peace of mind. But did you hear how much this cost? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Then she'd have the only house on the block that can withstand an investigating reporter, <clears throat> a pro hockey player, and two by fours shot from a hurricane cannon. Several manufacturers are starting to make these security screens, but fire officials say this is the first one they've seen installed in Kansas City. We've got more information about the manufacturer and more shots of that 2 by 4 shooting cannon online at NBC Action News. And we also want your comments. Would you spend a few grand for screens like that? That is a lot of money. Now, how long did you guys spend out there trying to get in? Well, you know, the, the whole process, including the fire department yeah. and the hockey player, we were out there about an hour, you know, it, it, various people doing various things yeah. at various times. Which a burglar would never be able to. Right, you wouldn't yeah. have that much time. I think that if you were determined, yeah. you could get in, but I think everybody in the neighborhood would hear you yeah. before well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, my dog just went through the back screen last week, so <laughs> the back door, so I could use one of those. It would be good for your dog. To keep Gracie in the yeah. house. All right, very interesting. Thanks, Russ. You bet. Thanks.